I talk sometimes about how Amnita helps with eyesight. I don't, and it's one of the things I didn't expect. And about six months into taking it, I learned about that. I can't find the study now. I'm going to try to find it to um, include it here in the description. But I noticed about a year into taking it, both microdosing and high dosing it, I, and smoking it, I found that all of a sudden I was much more creative. And I started being able to make my own stuff like stickers and the postcards for the store and really cool uploads for Instagram. My Instagram got really creative. That account got deleted by Instagram because of censorship yet again. But I wanted to show you a color blindness test. I want to show you where I failed the test and what my color blindness was. And now what I can and can't see, but also that my prescription lenses changed. I used to have prescription lenses. I don't know. They, they kept not working and they kept getting more and more blurry. My prescription had actually improved until I no longer needed a prescription. And now these are just regular like plus one or plus two diopter lenses that you can get just reading glass. They're called reading glasses. That's what these are, which is pretty cool. I'm three years now into using Amanita. And I wanted to share that with you. I'm not saying that you'll get the same result. I just find it really cool and really interesting. I also want to tell you because of the censorship now, I have had to build my own website where I host all the videos about Amanita. Anything you want to know about using it and how to prepare it, everything, I had to take it off of YouTube. So my income went from $1,000, well, should be now $2,000 a month down to $20 a month. And sales in my store, the store helps support the website and everything that I do. They've dropped in half from April 2022 to May 2022. Like my sales have dropped in half because of the current climate politically and financially in the world. So I understand that. And I had to move my membership site off of Patreon because they changed their terms of service and started censoring. So before they deleted my Patreon, I went on and made my own membership site. That site cost me $4,000. So now I'm working on paying that off. We have really cool Zoom meetings and they have themes now for men's groups, women's groups, people with ADD, ADHD, people with trauma. We have a tea ceremony, monthly tea ceremony. So we, we're always adding to that because my expenses are also going up just like yours are. So if, there, if you have enjoyed these videos in any way at all, please consider becoming a member at the new membership site at mushroomvoice.com. So this is the Pilestone online, considered one of the most reliable. Here I'm at pilestone.com, you can see that. And I'm gonna take you through it with me. Let's start the test. You click here, what you see here. So I see the number nine. Now this one I used to have trouble with because my color blindness was in the reds seeing shades of reds. I could barely pick out this, the outline here. And that looks like an eight, so. Uh, that's a five. Uh, now you can see that they are a little bit lighter. The first three, or the first two, the reds were really dark, but now you can see that they are a lot lighter. So I could still see it here, but it, it was really hard for me to pick that two out. And that looked like just sort of a line and in the middle of a bunch of gray. So that, that one was easier for me to pick out. That's seven, that's four, that's two. Now this, this one was the hardest, one of the harder ones for me to see. What happened to me in my red color blindness is I couldn't tell different shades of red apart. So while I could see that there was something here, it was very pale. And because there, it's surrounded by different shades of gray, this was very difficult for me. Now I can plainly see it too. That was easy. Again, I can clearly see it too. This one was awful. My worst color blindness was in purples. So this looked like all one shade of a really, really light color which blended in with the really dark shades of gray and this one I, I couldn't figure it out this was a complete just one big bunch of odds spatters so that one I failed and now I can plainly see it I do better in the pink so that's clearly a six 
that's also a six. That is a little bit more difficult to me. It looks a lot more scattered, but I can still see that it's a six. Whereas before I couldn't pick that one out. That looked like a zero to me in the last test, but now I can see that it's a four. This makes me so happy. And then I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I've been able to create. If you've never seen my uh, Instagram, I'll show that to you. I can see that's a, a seven. So that's very exciting that I can see these. And these are more toward the mauve seashell colors. Um, yeah, I guess, I hope that that's what I'm seeing. This one is a little more difficult. And, and when you get into the oranges and then all these different colors of blues and greens, telling those shades apart, I can clearly see it's a nine, but the difficulties up here where the line is really thin at the top, I forget, I can't point to it. Up at the top of it right there where the line gets thin, that makes it really difficult. But I mean, I can plainly see the nine now, but before I couldn't see the whole top half of that. All right, we'll move quickly now. That's a three, um, that's a one, but see how the color pops out to the side over here? That would mess me up and sort of blend in through here. That was hard to see, but that's clearly a one now. That's clearly, I see the purples so much better now. It's crazy. Like it's my strength where it used to be my weakness. That's a seven. We'll go quickly. That's a two. All these reds. <laughs> Three. Um, that's a one. Clearly. All right. Be oh, I got to enter my email. Oh, just show me the results. Cool. You don't even have to give them your email. Normal color vision. I failed this with a rare, very rare color blindness, just completely full on failed it. And now I'm normal and that's so cool. Anyway, they sell like color correcting glasses, which I really were going, I was going to try to buy those because it upset me that I had a color blindness that I didn't even know I had. I just thought I was not creative. And now I know that I was super creative. I just couldn't see the colors and it made it so frustrating. All right, let me take you to my Canva account and show you my projects that behind the scenes stuff that I'm able to create now. I do postcards that I give away in my store when you buy an order or whatever. That's a bookmark that I don't know when I'll use it, probably this fall. But every time people order something, when I'm packing up my orders, I give them a sticker that I've made and a bookmark or postcard that I've made. But this is a bookmark that I made. This is just me bragging now. Like I just can't believe that I can do this. I could never make, let me see if I can find some of my early bullshit. <laughs> yeah, these are thumbnails that I've made for all of my videos. They're, we're going back in time. And the words overlap, the white and the dark, like that, that was the whole thumbnail. And also censorship, like censorship sucks. So this one I used for my regular website, my personal website. So I didn't have to hide the fact that that's a mushroom and that's cannabis. And then with that, with censorship for YouTube, I had to put these things on here that sort of disguise the shape because their AI can now pick out shapes in your thumbnails and figure out what their shapes of, and that can get, get you uh, your video taken down. So I wasn't very good at picking out colors that go with things like that bright blue with that color red was very difficult on the eyes, but I couldn't see those shades of colors. Um, this tie dyeing a mushroom shirt, I couldn't see all these shades and then all these shades. So it's very busy. So these are my old ones before it finished healing my color blindness. So let me show you. I don't know if you've seen my thumbnails now. Those are the old ones. And then you can just tell over time they're starting to get better. Like that one's starting to get a little bit better. I started learning better about fonts and could just see that they look better and more about weights and balances and how these colors blend with these colors. I don't know if I'm boring you. I'll, I'll go quickly. That's a real great use of the proper shade of color. And I couldn't see these shades before, but now it works because the shades of color are correct. And it just makes me happy that they just keep improving. So I didn't mean to bore you. I hope this wasn't boring for you. I just wanted you to understand like how my eyes have healed using Amnita and the way that I've used it is just microdosing it 
and doing like my full protocol. I have a protocol outlined on amanitadreamer.net. And then when I wasn't on the protocol, just using it when I felt like it, go through periods where I'm smoking it more or just smoking the blends that I make that I sell in my store, you know, like in the evenings and the amanita is in it. It's just sort of blended in with some other herbs and then using it as a tincture when I'm traveling and then doing high doses sometimes blended in there, whether I'm on the, the microdosing protocol or not. So that's how I use it. I just use it as I need it. And the, I just wanted to show you that it has helped me look in the description for the link to the study about eyesight. I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to find it again or not. Thanks for being here. Please buy me a coffee or buy from the store when it's open or sign up for the newsletter, which I put out once a month or become a member at our site. Links and descriptions for all of it. I love you beautiful people. Bye.